So to start things off guys, I never ever ever once for one second did I expect that we were going to get James Stewart within Supercross the game number three. Now with that being said, did I ever expect to see a James Stewart mod bringing new gear and new bikes into the mix for the James Stewart AI rider? Did I ever expect that? No, but once again, Leon291 has went ahead and absolutely crushed it with this mod. I will leave the link for it down below in the description for any of you PC players that do want to hop in and check out the mod for yourselves. There are actually four different bike graphics that you can use. One's like an American themed, there's this one, and then I forget the two others. The gear set we get is the Zebra Vibes 7 gear. It is clean. We got the black and red Garni boots on there red seven gloves js7 is looking he's looking fresh that's all i gotta say the kit is clean and guys we're gonna hop in and take on the infamous daytona beach daytona international speedway as js7 we're just gonna have some fun with it it's gonna be a little bit of a mod showcase so let's get right on in to the action So here we go guys, this is actually my first time seeing the JS7 mod. Here we are at Daytona, I don't know why I feel like JS7 and Daytona just go so so good together, but yeah, let's hop in and check out what the mod has to offer. If you guys do enjoy at any point in time ruining this rhythm. This rhythm truly eats me alive here at Daytona. Make sure to go down there, smash that thumbs up button for me guys, if you are new around here, click that subscribe button and throw any comments down below let me know in the comments section if you are a js7 fan or not you guys like js7 let me know your opinion on js7 down below in the comments start a discussion and let's get into it let's find the flow and just have some fun with this one i think it's just gonna be a chill video so sit back relax and enjoy the Daytona vibes. I love Daytona sometimes, like, it's such a different style Supercross track. It's tricky. I totally suck at Daytona. It is probably one of my worst tracks in the game, but I love it. It's just such a fun track to hop in and switch it up a little bit. Now, speaking of switch it up, let's switch it up, put a pause on the riding, and just take in that mod. That is clean. So once again, it does just take the in-game Legends version of JS7 and kind of remodels the man. So we got some new gear, the Red Bull helmet, the fresh kit. I gotta say, like, that kit, that is fire. And of course, we are on the Ride 3657 Suzuki bike. So yeah, spot on setup for this mod. The link for it will be down below. Now, speaking of links that are down below in the description, the vlog link. The newest vlog, guys, was an absolute banger. That's all I gotta say. You guys don't wanna miss it. The Sandpit Shredfest, things got out of control and things got wild. It's definitely a mini moto movie. If you guys do wanna go check out the vlog, see what I get up to at the track in real life, see some real life moto action from your boy Goonzig. Make sure to go down there and check out the vlog, the link down there in the description. Like I said, don't miss out. I got two more vlogs to post before the end of the year, so go show your love on Goonzig Productions. We are closing in on, I believe, 5k, 5k subscribers over on that channel, but just kind of going with the flow and enjoying the grind. I gotta say, the vlogs are like my true potential when it comes to content. Finally, the Once Company. Oppose nothing, conquer everything, take on everything that life throws at you and make your dreams come true, guys. You don't think your dreams into existence, you work them into existence, am I right? Get out there, take on life, and crush your goals. The merch is currently up to 40% off site-wide right now. The site link is down below in the description if you guys do want to go check it out. The support on the Ones Company has been unreal and I'm just beyond excited for the future. So, like I said, each and every bit of support helps 
and is greatly appreciated. I think we need to switch up the vibes. Time attack is truly eating me alive. I was wondering what's going on with my shifting. Like, I swear, this corner especially, coming out of it, I was shifting up into third gear to try and <laughs> triple this section, and I'm shifting back down into second gear. I'm on automatic shifting. I forgot to change it. Goon moment. JS7 walking out, getting the crowd roaring. It is time to take on the AI as JS7. The mod is spot on. The mod is super, super clean. Once again, super impressed with the work of Leon291. I will leave the mod link down below in the description. Like I said, let's take on the AI, see what they have for the good old JS7. Good old vibes here with the man back on the track. It's crazy. It has been so long since we've actually seen Stuart out there in the mix at pretty much any races. Like, it has been a while. All the stuff went down there with, like, the, uh, the, the substance testing and all that, and pretty much after that, JS7 has been pretty MIA, to say the least. He has actually over the last few years here, made a few appearances at various rounds. Uh, this year, I believe it was for Outdoors. Like at Redbud, he was there with Sexton. I believe it was Redbud. Was it Redbud? I could be completely wrong on that one, but I think over the next few years, we will actually start to see a little bit more of James here and there, especially if he is starting to be, you know, like trainers for Chase Sexton and stuff like that. Like I do think we will start to see a little bit more of the JS7 action. The JS7 name will make some more appearances. I don't think we will ever see him back on a bike at any of these events unless it is just for like Supercross opening ceremonies just for the hype. Like that would literally be the only reason just for the hype because JS7 can definitely get a crowd going now. Three and a half minutes left in this race and I just got bodied off the track by whoever that was. But that actually works out pretty good because my one goal for this little race, this portion of the video is to take out the man Chad Reed. Let's re-spark the Chad Reed rivalry. Get up there, cause some drama with the man, see if I can send him to the ground or maybe just have a good old clean battle with CR22. This actually might be my chance. Oh, he did it all on his own, man. It was just simply the pressure of JS7 that got to him. The pressure alone caused CR22 to go down. Now, let's set our sights on that win. We have seen some insane comebacks by the man JS7 throughout his career. Was it 2014 Toronto? He went from like 18th place on lap one to getting that win which is rare it is rare in a supercross race to go from like last to a dominating win truly changed the sport js7 you can't say he didn't with the bubba scrub and just his true speed i'm not doing a very good showing here i mean ruining this rhythm every single lap maybe daytona wasn't the best track for me to play if I wanted to show off JS7 speed, but I have a win to get under my belt right here, right now. 12th place, and only a minute and a half to go. Oh, if I didn't clip RJ there, I think that would have been the fastest line possible to hit through that section. Sadly, I caught RJ just a tad on that landing and it threw me off and then I totally ruined that rhythm. Fifth place, gonna fall back to sixth? No way, no way is Bogle getting by. I am keeping this P5. Gonna have two laps to go, I believe. Can I get aggressive with Chisholm, my Suzuki brother? We gotta stay strong and stick together, but I need this pass under my belt. Right here, right now, outbreak, I'm coming into this corner. Even got into the back of Langston. Might be able to get Langston behind me here. If I can hit this triple online. Triple off to here. Oh, I almost quadded right there. I go from barely making the triples to almost making the quads. 
just like that. Up and over the Supercross triple, hold it together. Get a good old drive off of this wall jump. P3, it is going to come down to the wire here at Daytona. The leader, Cooper Webb, is a few seconds up just exiting this corner. So I do have a little bit of work cut out for me if I want this win. Heading on to that last lap. The white flag is out. Ferry and Webb are definitely holding it down out front right now. And I gotta get up there and get these passes under my belt. So I'm gonna go to this outside line again. See if I can actually get this triple on. Oh, no way! I knew it was gonna happen too. From the moment I entered that section and started getting sketchy, I knew I was about to be sleeping on that dirt. See if I can hug this inside. We still have about half of the lap remaining to try and get up there and make anything happen. So through the whoops, toss a dirty old scrub right there. Let's see if I can get this line. I ruined it. I ruined it. Oh man, Webb is right there. It is go <laughs> it is going to come down to the wire here at Daytona. I called it from the get-go. I didn't think it was actually gonna happen. Oh, a funky line through there, and that might have just actually costed me this race. Should I go for it? Aggressive plays with Cooper Webb. Is that gonna be enough for the win? Let's go. That is what I like to see. Coming down to the second last corner, getting that win as JS7. That's a pretty good showcase for the JS7 mod. Once again, Leon291 absolutely killed it with this one. I think it is pretty cool to see mods like this come into the mix, even though it's not like game changing. Hopping in and playing as a different rider, a new rider, it's pretty cool. Wait, hold up. Am I confused or am I confused? Because that is Tim Ferry on Stewart's bike. Something's going on there. What about the other legends? Are they on their own bikes? Yeah, it looks like... Is that Barsha? That is Barsha, but it looks like Langston is A-OK. -okay. Langston's all good. That is funky. But with that being said, <laughs> is that Benny Bloss? Tell me that's Benny Bloss. I know this is a James Stewart video, but we're gonna end this one showcasing the death of Benny Bloss because the man is taking a dirt nap and a half right now. Like, take that one in. That is it. That is all. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.